you can increase your productivity by five or 10 times overnight by putting the three methods into action that I'm going to give you in my free course. So go download it right now by clicking the link just below here. If you're not motivated to do something and somebody comes along and gives you motivational strategies, then you have to be motivated to do those, right? So if you're not motivated to do anything, then you can't really motivate yourself, can you? Yeah, you just have to, you have to tell yourself, but I don't, I'm not motivated to tell myself anything. Well, you just have to, I'm not motivated, right? I got a question about that. I'm going to answer that. What is the real challenge here? Let's look into that. And don't forget to subscribe if you want original answers, really deep insights on these questions instead of the usual redigested personal development insights that we have out there. So what are we talking about? Well, here's my statement. If you say that you want to lose weight, but you don't take action to lose weight, you don't want to lose weight. What you do want is be a person who wants to lose weight, but does nothing about it because he's struggling whatever to be motivated. You want exactly where you are. So I had this question come where I said, the, the way to make a real decision about doing something is try to live in two different realities, right? If you say, I want this lifestyle, then you live in that lifestyle. You do everything right. You go for a run. You know, you're the successful guy. You, pre you uh, prepare every day and plan every day and do the week and all of that, right? Everything. Then you try to live there in that extreme. And then you have over here, you just eat Ben and Jerry's all day, you do all the wrong things, you don't exercise, and gradually you feel more and more sluggish, and then you get to really experience that reality. So you can choose, instead of always living in a gray zone of doing some things right and some things wrong all the time, then you get to a point where you suddenly say, enough is enough, this is freaking paradise. The things I have to give up to live here, and the pleasure I, go, I get over here, it's just amazing, and this over here is crap. I don't want to live there anymore. And then you can make a real decision. And then the question is, but what if I can't even make the decision to do something for two weeks so I can have the full experience of being the successful guy, right? The only thing I'm motivated to is doing this. So what do I do? Well, here's the, here's the real question. Here's the real question. You say you want this. You really, you say you're watching videos, you're, you're listening to audio programs perhaps, you entertain the notion that you want this by reading books, but this is the hard, hard truth. That what you are motivated to do then is to live in the fantasy that that is what you want. But what you get much more out of is being a person who cannot be motivated. Sorry, please stick with this video even though you feel attacked. You, you have much more pleasure because you don't have to do anything out of being in a zone of, I can't motivate myself. Yeah, cool. Then you don't have to go for a run. Isn't that neat? <laughs> right? And it, it, I'm not pointing fingers at anybody because this is a personal, personal revelation I had years ago where it suddenly hit me. You know, I was in bed. I'm not motivated to go for a run. I'm not motivated, but I want the result of it. But do I really want the result or do I really want to stay in bed? There are other concepts in this that you can look into in other videos. But the main, what you need to ask yourself is, you say you want that. You say you want to be motivated. You say you want to live another life. You say you want financial freedom. You say you want to lose weight. But how can I, just ask yourself this question. How do you know what a cow wants? How do you know what a fish wants? How do you know what a plant wants? Why is a plant stretching towards the sun? Because it wants to be closer to the sun. It wants the rays of the sun. What does a cow do? It eats, it wants to eat, it wants to do this, it wants to do that. How do I know it wants it? Because it's doing it. There's no distance between what it wants and what, and in humans, we can imagine something. And then we can say, I want that, but then no action happens at all, right? I want a cold beer. Oh, you get up. You get, oh, oh, oh I see you get, oh, you get to the fridge. Oh, oh, you open it. Oh, you take it out, right? I want another life. I want to feel energetic and productive and powerful. So I'm going to go for a run. And then you don't. I want a beer, a cold beer from the fridge. Ooh, I want that. And then you do nothing. What would that do to you? If there's a person, I want a cold, but that's a cold beer in the fridge. Yeah, and I really want that. 
It's so burningly I want the beer. And he's not moving. What the hell, heck, sorry, is going on? It screams, doesn't it? Hello! I so want to change my life. And he wants a beer and is doing nothing. What the, what is going on here, right? That's why we need to focus on the, on the absurdity of saying I want something and then we're not acting. And I'm, this is so common, so I'm not pointing fingers again, but it becomes a pleasant illusion that we can live in, that I really like to lose weight. But because I'm a human being, I don't have to do anything about it. I could just be in the zone of, I really like to lose weight. And what happens next is, I become a victim to my own aspirations, right? I want to lose weight, I want to make more money, I want to start a business, but I can't pull myself together. So now I'm a victim to my own uh, lack of capability. And then I feel insufficient, I feel uh, bad, I feel lack, I feel all kinds of stuff. And that is, you know, here I am wanting that with the unable to motivate myself. But what really is going on is that I want this. I want this much more than I want that. Because this means putting myself on the line. This means taking actions that doesn't work. This means going on a diet again. And I'm afraid of that because I might fail like the last 10 times I went on a diet, right? This might, might mean I have to learn stuff. And that's, ugh, right? What if I don't get it? You know, it's time demanding to learn stuff. How, how do I, what, you know, this, you know, I have to step out. I have to, vroom. This is unsafe. This is uncertainty. Actually moving in that direction. Now it's dangerous because I can fail all the time. But that's the only way. And an absurd picture is what, do we, what would you do if you're trying to hit a hoop in basketball? You would just do it a thousand times. You wouldn't care if you failed. But in this endeavor, in real life, it's another story, isn't it? Because if you fail when you're trying to lose weight, you see it as failure. It's about me and my identity. And I can rush back into my little zone of, I really want to lose weight. No, you want to be here because that is unsafe. But it's not unsafe. It's just a process. It's you that is unsafe. You are the one who's talking like that every time you think you fail. You are the one who sees it as failure instead of seeing it as a process and saying, now I want to learn how to lose weight. Now I want to learn how to take action. Now I want to learn how to get up in the morning instead of just assuming that I can do it like that and then feeling bad about it when I'm not doing it. Right? It's like, oh, now I want, to, I want to go hit the hoop in basketball. You know, be my guest. Oh, I failed. Oh, so you thought you could just do it? You thought you could just hit the hoop with no training, with no practice? And when you don't, you feel bad? You think you can just start getting up in the morning? You think you should just, you know, going from overeating to being on a diet and then succeeding? Are you crazy? You have to practice. And practice means failing. Oh, ugh, right? What are you talking, failing? What are you talking, you just don't, you know, you have to practice it. Just like if you wanted to learn an instrument, yeah, I want to really want to learn to play guitar. Okay, try. Oh, I failed, right? Oh, I feel bad now. It's because the reason why you feel bad is you don't want to learn to play guitar. You want to be the one who wants to learn to play guitar, but gets to stay here and doesn't have to practice. I'm sorry, but this is reality. This is the reality of the human uh, system here. That how whatever you do, it has an intention. We talked about it in a previous video, right? So even wanting something and not being able to take action is a strategy, is giving you something. It's giving you an identity, perhaps as a victim of not being able to do it, right? All of that. And when honesty meets that, when you get total honest about what is going on, you start really inquiring what is going on here like that, right? Then suddenly in that space, you could say, you come forward because then there's no excuse anymore. You're out of the haze of wanting to take action, but being unable to, right? You're out of the haze of wanting a beer and not going to the fridge for one, which is insane, right? You're just talking about it. Every time I visit you, you're just talking about, oh, I so want a beer, a cold beer. And I just get more and more, your friends get more and more tired about hearing that story. Then freaking do something about it, right? Go to the fridge. It's not as simple as that, Klaus. It is as simple as that. If you don't think it is, then imagine it is. What if it was as simple as that, <laughs> right? 
What if I really rather want to be the one who can't take action than I would, would, would want to be in action, right? Whenever you want something, you have to push out of your comfort zone to get there. And that's unpleasant. That's what we're trying to get away from. It's not about whether you can motivate yourself or not to do the two weeks of just bam. It's whether you really, if you, you know, do you dare do it, do it? Or what do we get out of being a person who can't motivate himself to do that? Been there, tried it, done that a lot of times in my own life. And it's really, uh, I hope you'll go deep with this so you realize what is actually going on. And don't forget to comment underneath here. If you disagree with me uh, in any way, please, let's continue this little discussion here. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video.